Yeah. Uh, mm. I think it threw him so bad, the doctor. When he called him, he said, good news and bad news. The bad news is it's malignant. Good news is it's 100% treatable. And when mm. they got to his office Monday evening, the treatable is uh, removal. Mm. So you know that's, all, that, that's true. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and so, you know, and I like Margaret. But I think Gertrude's is over such a large area. Mm. Oh, uh, it's not well, just little nodules. Yeah. So, but I wanted you to know that because it really threw them. And I said, well, now, if you'd have just come on and told me that. But I, we didn't mm. know it until uh, Sunday night. Well, does she know when she's going to go? Uh, they wanted to do it Friday morning. And, Sean, I don't understand all this, but they told her it would be done on an outpatient basis. I don't know, understand how a mastectomy could be considered outpatient. Do you? No, maybe a lumpectomy, but not a mastectomy. But gosh. I, I don't get it. I don't either. But I, I was talking to my neighbor, a retired nurse. Uh -huh. And she said Medicare was getting so uh, hard on them. But she said what they do, they'll say they'll do that. And if she's not doing all right, they'll just hold her. Yeah, yeah. But I never heard of any such of a, a weird thing as that. No, I mean, insurance is getting so. Well, they have Medicare lays it down, and they have so many days. Yeah. You know, uh, for everything they've got it. I mean, cut and dried. Unless there's Unless complications, there's yeah. There. Yeah. And uh, but I'm, anyway, I wanted you to know that. Okay. And she, uh, she, they had told her they wanted to do it this Friday. And she told me Monday evening, and said, I'm going to call him in the morning and see if he would let me put that off till the next Friday. Mm -hmm. I know she wants her children. Yeah. And uh, see, Glenn Wayne came for the biopsy. Mm. Uh, so they must have already been worried. But how be ever, uh, he told her it would be, they told her it would be okay. So that would be a Friday the 7th. The 7th. Uh -huh. Well. I'll and if you talk to any of the folks, please tell them. Uh, you know, any, uh, anybody that I, because I hadn't uh, talked to anybody outside of Shreveport. You're the only one. Okay. Um, well, I'll send her a card. I wish and, you would. Yeah. I wish you would. I've got her an upper room. You know, I get those little Methodist upper rooms. Uh -huh. I'll put it in an envelope tomorrow with a card. I'll have to mail it to her because I didn't get to get it to her. Yeah. And I just thought I'd put a card in, in there and mail her a little book. Mm. I feel so sorry for them because they had the grandest. And I'll uh, save you a picture of them where they celebrated their 50th. Oh, okay. You know, they just celebrated it. Oh. They married 25th of January. Uh, well. 1947. Mm. So uh, Glenn Wayne, they went to Houston and celebrated in his home. And then they came over here and celebrated up here at Oxford Street. Mm. And, and and I said that I didn't need this. They didn't need this to happen right on the heels of that. Well. But one thing for sure, I told the folks, I'd rather him go first because I don't believe he'd ever make it. Without her. He just gave up. Mm. Well, I mean, now she's the one having to do all the telephoning and everything. Mm. He's just real fragile about her. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So well. is Mark happy about you getting to go? Oh, yeah. Great. Good. Yeah. And you won't be gone anytime. No, just about 48 hours. <laughs> <laughs> He'd probably be glad to catch his breath. I, <laughs> I was going to try to watch the Grammy tonight on Count of Gordon, but I said, I can't sit through that. Well, they've already had, they had it pretty quick. Well, who was it? Well, who won it, them? They did, yeah. Oh, Charlotte, tell me all about it so I can tell people <laughs> I was watching. Well, um. Let's see, Eric Clapton won male something of the song of the year, I mean, vocal of the year, and then not long after that, the um, the they got song of the year, and then three writers went up, and they all said something, and Gordon was first. And Oh, okay, tell me what he said. Okay, I am in big doo-doo. Oh. <laughs> I mean, because I wasn't watching, you're going to have to tell me. Well, he just thanked Jesus Christ and um, and said, get a shot of my beautiful wife. Uh, Tracy, and they had a good shot of her in the audience. In the audience? A close-up, yeah. I didn't know that she was with, that was going with him. And she told me that she was, uh, oh, my God, I hope somebody take that. Well, <laughs> I'm sure Jerry did, but. Oh, yeah, but listen.
listen, I cannot tell I didn't watch it. <laughs> well, I thought it was going to be long and drawn out, but well, it I happened it in the... I now, see, but that's what I said. It's I, already, it happened pretty good, first hour. Oh, well, Jesus, gee whiz. I'll just have to repeat what you said <laughs> and hope they don't question me too deep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Carla. Um, did I tell you Mark may be coming to work where I am? You did. I did. And when would he start? Uh, the 6th. But his company he's working for now has made him the same offer to stay. Oh, isn't it wonderful that everybody wants him? I yeah. mean, I love to be talking about two people want me. Yeah. <laughs> so what does he think? Well. It's going to be a hard decision. Yeah, I think my company's more stable. Uh-huh. So, I don't know. Well, that way he'll have time to. Well, he needs to make his mind up like tonight. That would be hard for me to do, Charlotte. Yeah. So, um, I don't know. But anyway, I'll, I'll let Whenever you. Whenever you make your trip, I want to hear from yeah, you. Yeah. If I'll... you, if, look, you could just drop me a line or I can call you or whatever. You don't have to worry about calling me because well, those get to be expensive. But Well, I'll I, let you know. I wanted you to know about Gertrude and I wanted to, uh, to know if you were able to go on your trip. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm most interested in, I'm that you would go there. Yeah, I'm planning on going. and um, I'll let you hear when I get back. Okay, baby. <laughs> and I love you. I love you, too. And, and I'll... thank you for t anything else I need to know about Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, what, exactly what time did that happen? Right? Oh, I don't remember. It you was... what I was watching, Catherine... Hit burn in a 1955. <laughs> oh, grief. Oh. And men was watching them craters hitting the earth. But you know, we never have been much on that. Yeah. I usually haven't either, except. Of course, it's the, well, it's the first time that we should have been. Yeah. We should have been. Yeah. And I'm not ever going to let anybody know. <laughs> okay. uh, I'm going to congratulate them. And, and don't you ever tell it. No, I'm not. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell Randy and Jane we played hell. I'll go. I'll talk All to right. you. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye.